Good evening. I'm Marcella Perry. And I'm Steve Spreester. It happened in a split second. A wrong way driver fleeing from police crashed head on into a motorcycle, killing the cyclist and critically injuring his wife. Paul Venema in court as the state rests its case in the murder trial of the wrong way driver with a chilling account of the crash from other motorists. Twisted wreckage of a motorcycle on the highway, the aftermath of a collision with a car going the wrong way. Nicole Valadez was driving the car right behind the motorcycle. She said she saw headlights from the car going the wrong way, then the motorcycle sliding in front of her. When the motorcycle turned, um, I hit it. But when I hit it, um, the couple was no longer on the motorcycle. The motorcycle had collided head on with a car driven by 38 year old Benito Garza, who was fleeing from police following a home invasion a few miles away. Nicholas Herrera was a passenger in Valadez's car. He too saw those oncoming headlights and then a horrible sight. All I saw was uh, the lady on the motorcycle hit my side of the, the vehicle. On the passenger window. That woman, Roxana Tenorio, was critically injured. Her husband, Pedro, killed instantly. After the wreck, Garza bolted from his car on foot carrying a shotgun. Officer Ramon Moreno gave chase and caught up with Garza as he tried to scale a fence. I was able to reach through the fence and I grabbed the barrel of the shotgun and I held it. And then other officers were able to jump the fence and apprehend him. Garza is on trial for murder, evading arrest, and failure to stop and render aid. He's facing a life sentence if he's convicted. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.